If you're looking for Mutt Coins to upgrade your Mutt game, go to GameRusher.com for cheap and safe Mutt Coins. You can use my discount code HUB at the website. Use the first link in the description down below and get that upgrade to your game. Yo, what's up Giants fans, hub watchers, YouTube subscribers, Twitter and Instagram followers. It's your boy Kush back at it again with another Giants update video. A quick update video for October, almost at August, uh, 21st here. Uh, going over the two big news that we got yesterday actually. And I want to get this up really quickly before I get my preview video up. A notice about my preview video, because it's a short week, you know, it's a Thursday night game. And because of my classes and exams and whatnot, it's not going to be a heavily edited video. It's probably going to be one that's just like this with the pictures up and me talking over it. Uh, so I hope you guys can bear with me in that sense there. So let's get into the two big news. The first one being that Tay Crowder has been placed on Giants injury reserve. And then the Giants signed Jabal Shirt off of the Jacksonville Jaguars practice squad. So let me talk about Tay Crowder first. And I do have a Giants um, Giants.com article here pulled up. And I just want to say, Jesus Christ, can we catch a break? It seems like the Giants just have everybody injured right now. Our entire wide receiving core has gone down. You know, the only healthy people we have out there are uh, Darius Slayton, Austin Mack, and Golden Tate. And Darius Slayton is somewhat injured after last game. I think he's going to play Thursday, but he's hobbled at the very least. Everybody else is injured. Sterling Shepard, he's like on track is what the Giants say, but there's no real... Uh, indication right now as to whether or not he's gonna play or not of course Xavier McKinney has been injured since God knows when we just got David Mayo back actually last game was David Mayo's first game back after being injured in the offseason and then as David Mayo or inside linebacker comes back Tay Crowder Mr. Relevant the one who's been shining and profiling out here styling on on the NFL league goes down it's like a soul for a soul Thanos you know we get one inside linebacker back we let one go and, and Tay Crowder's on injury reserve. I don't know how long it's going to be for. I'm sure the article would mention it. Um, of course, we have our two outside linebackers injured. We have Saquon injured, you know, the biggest one. Uh, it's, it's just like, Jesus Christ, we can't catch a break. And the only, you know, saving grace for this game is that we're going up against an equally, if not more, injured Philadelphia team. Um, but I'll save that for the preview video. But yeah, the Giants just can't catch a break. This is what the article says. Tay Crowder had a moment in the sun this week, but the Giants rookie linebacker was today placed on injury reserve with a hamstring injury suffered in a 20-19 victory against Washington football team on Sunday. Crowder, Mr. Irrelevant honoree from the 2020 NFL Draft, earned his first bit of professional fame by recovering a Kyle Allen fumble and racing 43 yards for the go-ahead touchdown with 3.43 remaining in the fourth quarter. Now he must miss a minimum of three games, beginning with the Giants contest Thursday night against Philadelphia in Lincoln Financial Field. Jesus Christ, three games. So his hamstring injury, I'm sure that they knew for a fact he's going to be out for, you know, a couple of weeks at the very least. Otherwise, they wouldn't put him on injury reserve because when you're there, you're not going to miss three games. So he's going to be out for Philly. He's going to be out for Tampa Bay. And after Tampa Bay, we either play Philly again or Washington again. So at the very least, that is too. Uh, he could be out for probably something like four to five weeks. I, I just hope this isn't another Ryan Conley situation where he's kind of out for an extended period of, a period of time and then he comes back and it's like he's not what he once was. You know what I mean? The article goes on to say, Crowder's replacement on the roster will be veteran defensive end Jabal Shurd, who terminated his practice squad contract with the Jacksonville Jaguars to sign with the Giants. Shurd played 15 snaps and deflected a pass in Jaguars' loss Sunday to the Detroit Lions. It was his only appearance of the season. So they say replacement in terms of who's going to take his spot because obviously they said it right there. Jurd is a defensive end. Jabal Shurd, he's not an inside linebacker. Um, the replacement in that sense will be David Mayo and honestly i'm trying to think right now who else do, do we have there that inside linebacker position i'm just gonna hope that mayo can be somewhat effective we all know tay crowder was a lot more agile fast and definitely better in past coverage than mayo is um Sherd will not be eligible to play against the eagles oh come on yo so we signed this guy and i've heard good things about him i admit though 
I don't know that much about them. I, I, I'm sure a lot of people out there can relate to that. But we can't even use them for the Eagles. And we do need pass rushing help, but we can't even use them for the Eagles. Jesus, man. Anyway, it continues. Though he's received the daily COVID-19 testing with Jacksonville, their protocols reset when a player joins a new team. Man, the Giants next game after Philadelphia will be home at Monday night against Tampa Bay. Why does it reset though? Like, I don't get that. He just moved from a team where he's cleared and everything's good. He's just going to a new team and they have to reset the protocols? Man, that seems like something that's a little bit extra. I don't know. You guys leave your comments on that. Sure has played in 135 regular season games with 103 starts for Cleveland, New England, Indianapolis, and Jacksonville. He has also played in seven postseason games with two starts. In 2015 to 2016, Sure played in a 28 regular season games and five postseason games for the Patriots when Joe Judge was the special teams coordinator. Sherd has two tackles, including a half sack when New England defeated the Atlanta Falcons in overtime in Super Bowl 51 following the 2016 season. So that's something I didn't know. He has a connection with Joe Judge there. This kind of reminds me of the signing of um, Harris, the guy from the Dolphins practice squad, also a defensive end that has a connection with Patrick Graham. I'm not sure which one out of the two is going to be elevated first. From the looks of it, it might be sure just because of the experience and, you know, you know, the veteran presence that he has. But I would like to see Harris also elevated because the outside linebacker room, because of the injuries, is now a bit thin. And, well, we honestly need all the help we can get. Although I will say, since they're saying defensive end, is sure going to be in that, you know, that 3-4 defensive end position like Leonard Williams and stuff? I would hope not because I honestly think we're good there. Um, the article continues, Sherd's 10 season totals include 387 regular season tackles, 264 solo, 70 tackles for loss, 51 and a half sacks, 27 passes defended, 13 forced fumbles, and 5 fumble recoveries. In the postseason, he has 23 ta tackles, 12 solo, and 1 and a half sacks. So you know what? I'll tell you what. That's a really good stat line, you know what I'm saying? I can definitely see why people were excited or people like this pickup a lot. So I I'm for it as well. It just sucks that we can't use him this Thursday. Hopefully he'll be effective, you know, in the game plan moving forward, but that remains to be seen. Sherd entered the NFL out of University of Pittsburgh as a 2011 second round draft choice by the Cleveland Browns. He spent four seasons in Cleveland, two in New England, three in Indianapolis. He signed to the Jaguars practice squad on October 12th and to their active roster on Saturday, one day before facing the Lions. Um, and then it kind of closes off talking a little bit about Tay Crowder, but we all know about Tay Crowder. So here's the thing. Like I said, it just seems like it's not fair and it's really sad that we lose Tay Crowder, who honestly I think was probably even going to be a starting inside linebacker over David Mayo because he's been performing so good. Or at the very least, you're going to see a nice rotation between him and Mayo because in his snaps, he's been so, so effective and efficient, man. I love the way Tay Crowder was coming on. I hope he can recover soon and I, and I hope he could come back and play at the level that he was at before. Luckily, it's just a hamstring. It's not you know, like an ACL or something. So it shouldn't be too serious. And with Jabal Sherd, I just hope he could continue to be effective um, like he was in Cleveland and New England. That remains to be seen though. And sucks that we can't use him here. One thing I have noticed is there is no wide receiver news yet. It's like t Thursday is tomorrow and we haven't picked up any new wide receivers. Hopefully by the time this video goes up, that changes. But that's it for now. Let me know what you guys all think. Put your thoughts down below and I'm out. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. I'll catch y'all in the next one.